Hi, this is Scotty Broman here with Broman Live, and I'm here with Christian Gustafson, who's going to tell us about One Barrel for Baja. This is a really exciting bike effort. It's one week away to the Baja 1000. And Christian, what's going on with this project? So uh, I've got a background in, in research and, and exploration. Uh, when I was doing the master's program at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, uh, my, my interest really came alive at, at showing applied technology. Uh, I, I've been interested in using biofuels uh, for about four years now, uh, taking it across country and, and some of the trucks we use for different research projects. And the stuff works, we found out what works and what doesn't. We want to take that to the next level in terms of showing uh, uh, what people are doing with algae because it's a lot more efficient to produce than some of the traditional biofuels. And there's a lot of local companies here in San Diego that are doing it. So uh, we got a bunch of students on board to create uh, some biofuel from algae. We call the project One Barrel for Baja. And uh, we've been rocking and rolling ever since. We've gone out, set some speed records on this, and uh, you know, now we're gearing up for the Baja 1000. Uh, we, we chose uh, uh, the Baja 1000 because uh, I, I respect the organization and, and SCORE and what the race stands for. Uh, they've got that Baja proven brand. So we're gonna take this bike, we're gonna take the fuel, and uh, see how far we can go. Uh, but you know, we, we couldn't do this alone without, uh, we, we got a lot of help from our sponsors and, and uh, my man, Brian Hess has been uh, really instrumental. We, we were just a bunch of students getting this thing going. Uh, Brian's got a background in, in racing, engineering, a lot of other things, and, and he's helped us really take this team to the next level. So Brian and, and Christian, like what's the ultimate goal? Finishing this race would do what for One Barrel for Baja? What's well, the next level? Well, we, we've got a, a lot more demonstrations we want to do in 2013 and beyond, uh, incorporating this fuel into other vehicles, not just uh, a, a unique bike like this long range adventure bike that, that Track Diesel Motorcycle makes. We want to uh, actually take this out, put it in uh, uh, some high boosts, go 250, maybe 300 miles an hour, put this in some other cars and, and vehicles, along with racing with uh, Brian and, and the hydrogen system he's, he's uh, been working on with the trucks. Uh, but, you know, like I said, meeting Brian has been awesome. It's, it's kind of like that saying goes, when the, the student is ready, the, the master will appear. And he's been uh, really instrumental to this project. And helping you guys get, take the, the technology and get it onto the off-road exactly. uh, platform. Exactly. Well. It's been an interesting group. They're a real smart group of kids. And uh, taking the bike and getting ready for Baja, building the stuff that will keep it alive through that race has been, uh, you know, my part in this. And it's, it's been an enjoyable factor. We've added uh, hydrogen to it on a couple of occasions to see how that would affect it. The uh, charging system needs a little bit more work, and as soon as we get that done, we'll have the hydrogen along with the algae. So it's been a pleasure working with them, and we're looking for a successful race. Hey, awesome guys from Race Desert, Scotty Broman, best of luck to you. Thank you so much. Nieve, boys, diablitos, nieve, nieve.